Okay, this is for the, of, of the motion. Uh, it's called discovery, right? That's rule 3.220. A, this motion is for notice of discovery for defendant Tommy Chancey Council and defendant Tommy Chancey Council Senior's discovery is held in the circuit court of the 18th Judicial Circuit in and for Seminole County, Florida with case number 07 ca 3119 17L and 08CA-1618-09K and the Circuit Court of the 9th Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida with case number 07CA-3119-17L and 08CA-1618-09K 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 and 08CA-1618
See, they trying to they trying to say that I am property of the of the state of Florida, not a citizen of the state of Florida. See what I'm saying? And I'm telling them I have not relinquished my rights. I have I have fought for my rights, and now you're trying to take my rights with an illegal maneuver. See what I'm saying? Now, they say no person shall be deprived of any right because of race, religion, national origin, or physical disability. A, defendant Tommy Chancy Castle has been deprived this right given in Section 2 of the Florida Constitution by all defendants pursuant to Rule 3.150B, joiner of defendants, as for in an earlier motion and comes from this case already pending in the circuit court in and for Seminole County with case number 07CA3119-16L and 08CA161809K and in the circuit court of the 9th Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida with case number 086A368739. Two, section four, Freedom of speech and press. Every person may speak, write, and publish sentiments on all subjects, but shall be responsible for the abuse of that right. No law shall be passed to restrain or abridge the liberty of speech or of the press. In all criminal prosecutions and civil actions for, de for defamation, the truth may be given in, as in evidence. If the matter charged as defamatory is true and was published with good motive, the party shall be uh, acquitted or exonerated. A. Defend defamation by the defendants in this case, in the cases in the circuit court in and for Seminole County with case number 07CA3119-16L and 08681618-09K and in the and in the circuit court of the 9th Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida with case number 08CA3687-39. B. By the violation of Section 4 of the Florida Constitution by the defendants, defendant Tommy Chancy Castle, Benita E. Castle, and Four Castles Incorporated, a character and credit rating has been damaged. Now, see, that's me still with my wife. See, what I did was I separated, but in court, I, I, I was still together. So I separated so she wouldn't be able to put me away, see, because of her fears. But what they did, they went and got my daughter. <laughs> see, see, I separated from my wife so she couldn't do that because I know she loved me. See, so what I did is I separated, but I brought her in the court as my wife. And I brought my daughter and my son and my family and my business associates in as Folk Houses Incorporated. See, but see, this is what I'm saying. When nobody asks you, how do they know what you're doing? See what I'm saying? They don't, they, they don't know. Okay, now, see, and under the protection of Section 4 of the Florida Constitution, Defendant Tommy Chancy Castle, Benita E. Castle, and Four Castles Incorporated asked the Honorable Judge John Whitter III to be acquitted of the charges against Defendant Tommy Chancy Castle and, and asked the court to be exonerated under this same Section 4 of Freedom of the Speech and Press. Defendant Tommy Chancy Castle, Benita E. Castle, and Four Castles Incorporated from the, from the damages caused by said defend, defamation of the credit rating of Tommy Chancy Castle. Benita E. Castle and Four Castles Incorporated so that they can once again have the basic rights given to all natural persons and enjoy life and liberty to pursue happiness and become and, and because of the business that they started, Folk Houses Incorporated be rewarded for industry, all given and protected under Section 2 basic rights of the Florida Constitution. Three, Section 5, right to assemble. The people shall have the right to peacefully to assemble, to instruct their representatives, and to petition for redress of grievances. See, so that means, according to Section 5 of the Florida Constitution, right to assemble, this is illegal what they fit to do on January 27th in 2023 at 8.30 in the morning in the same courthouse where on August 6, 2008, I already asked, them for protection against this uh, illegal um, maneuver 
because they couldn't beat me in court. So now they're using the court illegally. See, because why would the devil tell you the devil's been defeated when you don't understand how the devil was defeated? So if you don't understand how the devil was defeated, why would the devil teach you what you don't understand, nor do the devil want you to know? See, that's why I'm teaching because I have no choice, right? And then two, I understand that if my people don't wake up, then my people going to keep being put to sleep. You see what I'm saying? So at some point, I had to do what I had to do so you can do what you got to do to protect your children like I'm protecting you and my children. See what I'm saying? See, like at some point, the father is going to have to be the father of all because if he's just the father of his own, then the father of the world would not be the father of the world. He would just be the father of his family. Now, if God is God, then God would do what I'm doing. See, God would see the devil and God would then allow the world to see what God saw. See, that's what I'm doing, right? I saw the devil and the devil saw me. So now I'm a stranger to my friends and my friends are a stranger to me.